Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode Left, right, hook, then I reload Speed until the E breathe slow Connect to re-up a cut, clean blow Just waiting for a date for him there to come up, and um, we're just waiting for Mickey to put his finger out and give us a big date. A big date? You're hoping for a title fight? We, want, like that? we want a title fight. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're 12, 12 fights unbeaten now. Yeah. Um, your last fight, I mean, particularly on the ring, your last fight, you looked very good. Um, who is? Who would you be looking at? What southern area? Uh, well, whatever Mickey Elliott can get put on the table first, and we're going to take it, you know. So we're just waiting for something to come ahead, you know. And um, the big man here is ready to go, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he's back in training. But wait, he's, he's been out, though, because he had a really bad injury. He tore on a muscle in his shoulder. So he's been out for a long while. But now he's back on it, injury-free, and he's ready to go. Ready for war. He's ready to go. <laughs> You were at super middle. Am I right in thinking you've gone down to middle? He's a middleweight now, yes. Middleweight. Yes. Is that um, is strength going to be part of that? Is something that you're working on? Because you've got an aggressive he's style. A, he's, he's naturally strong. He's born strong. You know, he's just like, he's just naturally strong, you know. Obviously, there's always areas to improve, and that's, and that's what we're doing, yeah. But we're working hard on his style, me and Angel Fernandez, you know. We're working very hard on his style, you know, and I think Angel's very good for him as well. Yeah. Because he's good at all the angle stuff for him, you know. He's, he's a good fighter. But every, every Andy can fight, you know. You just, so just there's no names you're after, particularly at middleweight. You just just that uh, yeah. just whatever so type we're, comes we're, in. We're, we're calling nobody out. We're just going to see what Mickey puts on the table. When Mickey puts Shank on the table, we're going to take it. So that's that's where we are for him in a minute, you know. So we're just waiting. Are you ready to, go. to fight now? Yes. We're, we're, well, as you can see, he's just coming back. He's getting in shape again. Yeah. You know, I have to speak to him because his English ain't really great in a minute, yeah, yeah. but he is getting better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But no, he'll fight anyone. Yeah. And, well, I know I, I know the old school brothers, and I know Shiar is um, yeah, a bit sure, of a yeah. contentious point here, but, and actually, well, I wanted to ask you something about that as well, but um, they're both, you both will fight anyone. I yeah. mean, you spoke to, speak to Shiar, he'll give you a list of the people he wants to fight. Oh, she will fight anyone. He'll fight anyone, same as him, yeah. you know? Yeah, they, they're... they're they're both just warriors, you know, they're, they're both modern day gladiators. And the hugely popular in Turkey, with Turkish TV always following you around, and I'm right in thinking you fought for um, the uh, uh, top Turkish amateur team for a long time. Yeah, he good was, amateur background. he was part of the Turkish international team as well, you know, yeah, so he's got a really good amateur background behind him. That's, uh, and every, everyone knows about his amateur background, you know, he had over, how many amateur fights, but under the something, wasn't it? 115. 115 amateur fights. 115 amateur yeah. fights. Yeah, a lot of them was international as well, so, yeah. you so know. The, I mean, you, you can't ask for better schooling than that, no. really, can you? No. So, yeah. so he knows what he's doing, you know. But he's got a very pro style to watch. It's, very, it's, it's, it's aggressive, it's front foot, moves his head a lot. He moves his head a lot, you know. He comes under, he, he gets under, yeah, he whips around the middle, he comes through this size, you know. Yeah, he's, he's a nightmare for anyone, you know, but... We're improving on other areas of his game as well, you know. Yeah. Like I said, I brought An um, Angel Fernandez in, you know, who's been working on different things with him as well, as well as I have, yeah. you know. And I think it's improving him, and he thinks he's and it's improved making you a better fighter, Angel, as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah, very good coach. So yeah. it's all looking good here in a minute at West Ham. And you've got some great sparring down here. I noticed you know, you've had Robin Dupree, uh, John Harding Jr. coming down. Have you sparred John Harding? No, you because no. Of the injury? we've got Marcus Williams down here for him, nice and long, yeah. tall, yeah, nice light heavyweight, you know. Today we've got, um, out there, we've got Mark, um, Tom Baker out there today, we've got, oh, well, we've got loads of guys here from the spa. So, as you, know, as you come down, as you know, there's always sparring here, yeah, there, yeah. There, there's always people walking West, in and out the team passing sure through. Sparring, no, you, you know that, innit, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, um, I, yeah, again, I wanted to talk about the Shah thing, because we, we were just mentioning it. Now, Shah failed, break, well, I didn't fail. They wanted to double check a brain scan. Mm. Um, now, obviously, I, you can understand why, from a neutral perspective, you can understand why the board would want to be careful with that and the medical side of it. But from your perspective, and, and this is, I thought was an interesting point, <coughs> oh. it, it actually caused some tensions. And that, because there was nothing wrong with him, no, and, it wasn't, and, no. and he was frustrated that he couldn't fight. And 
I mean, kind of. I don't know what happened. Be fight. honest with you, I don't know what happened between me and shit. Honestly, I don't. Yeah, obviously, I've got his brother here, you know. Yeah, but I don't know really what happened because there's nothing. There's nothing ever been explained to me what happened. Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, that's for another day to talk about, not today. Okay. But with the brain scan, yeah, what happened was we was in camp, yeah, for eight or nine weeks. A week before the fight, the board was said, no, she can't box, there's a query on the brain scan. And it turned out in the end, there was nothing on the brain scan, but the fight never would have happened anyway, because the other guy literally failed his brain scan. So oh, the right. fight would never would have happened. As you know, that you, was the you, guy down in Bristol, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know about that. So the really fight right. never would have happened. So at the end of the day, I don't know what to say well, about it. One of those really. frustrating things about boxing, isn't it, really? With just it's, a fr- it's basically for a fighter. When he's put all his time in the gym, he's worked so hard. And to be honest, Sheriff does work hard. He's a very oh, hard yeah. worker in the gym. And the same as him. They've got that fighter's mentality. Well, the same as you. I mean, look how busy you are. Yeah. But I'll talk about the fighters, but yeah. he's, he's, he's the same. He's got a fighter's mentality. They just want to fight. Yeah. All they want to do, they just want to fight. And they'll fight anyone. Yeah, if I, if I go to him, you're fighting, and you go, yeah, no problem. And it's exactly the same as his brother. They go, yeah, no problem. We'll fight anyone. And that's what they're like, you know. But getting back to that brain scan, it's this... Uh, frustrating. It's frustrating for me as well, you know. Yeah. I lost a good fighter because of it. Yeah. I lost a good fighter down to that, you know. Well, well, I think it was down to that. I don't know the story behind it, but that was it, really. Okay. So, you, but you've still got plenty of good fighters at West Ham. I've got loads of fighters. You can see, look, look out there now. It's all out there. Loads of them. <laughs> yeah. And with Onda, obviously, you're aiming big. So, what, what would you, your hopes be for the rest of 2018? Well, I'd like to start him off because he's just come back, yeah? So, obviously, we'd like to start off nicely with a six-rounder. Yeah. And then, we move on from there, you know? You know, we, we need to move on. Onda, what's your... Uh, ultimate aim, top aim. Yeah, where do you want to be? World champion. Yeah, yeah. World champion. World champion. Yeah. So there we go. Don't you don't speak to many fighters who don't say that. So that's good. To, <laughs> yeah. That's good. To, <laughs> yeah. That's good to know. When he first walked in the gym, he came. He went, Barry, I'm going to be a world champion. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, that's like everyone who walks in the gym. Everyone says that. But you know. <laughs> To get there, to be, do something like you've got to be very special. Well, 12 and 0 is not a bad start at all. Um, very much looking forward to seeing your next fight, Honda. Mm. Uh, best of luck with camp. Hope the injury heals up well. And can't wait to see what you uh, bring to the table at middleweight. Mm. Exciting. exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Very exciting, you know what I mean? Well, I can't wait to get him back out again now and just to get moving on with the kid. Excellent. Looking forward to it, Barry, Honda. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. get ready. Yo, beast mode, I go beast mode Left, right, hook, then I reload Speed until the E breathe slow